okay good morning guys uh, so today I am going to share a bread analysis on VIX 75 as that I shared on um, the WhatsApp community and also shared on Facebook right so this was shared on January February March April May June July August this was shared last month uh, so you can see the dates right there Sunday September 2024 right there so we have the setup right here you can actually see i love it. this has mpl plus old block i love it. this has a field high then i indicated this uh arrow right here which is what i used to identify a maximum pin level mpl then i have the change of character i have the break of market structure i have the range low and i have this as an adjustment so um this particular setup or strategy um I actually see it on my course on Udemy uh, you will see that on the description link so you can go get them all right so let's quickly dive into the chat and we will analyze uh, VIX 751S together I have some other um, trades that played out that I, I have been sharing also and that is VIX 50 which is this one that tapped the supply zone and we sold down to this point uh we have x 25 s if you go to my facebook page you actually see me sharing this stuff so we tap and selling and someone in the group is actually um enjoying that if i go back to this whatsapp and i search for vix 25 so uh we see all right let me see okay so right here all right so we wanted to buy before but price did not come back to this area since we have a breaking structure i was like all right we should not buy anymore because we have its breaking structure and i now said we should we end buying vix 25 again let's look at the supply zone right there and that was where we took um the shot and we swing it perfectly we have the confirmation entry right here and we're singling down we have the previous low right there so um i'm only going to be focused on 25 s right here so i had another entry again right there has a confirmation entry to take the trade so that is by the way i'm going to not show my trades so we can analyze this stuff all right so the first thing first we are going to our monthly time frame and i want us to delete all the drawings that i have here so to delete that i have to press ctrl b to bring out all the object and i start deleting 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 all right so now we start our analysis all right so if you look at vix 751s and i actually see that this market has been bearish all this why right and it now entered a stage where it starts to consolidate this has entered a consolidation phase meanwhile we have this swing high which is a major high for us um that we can use to project where we are or likely to say where will the price be drawn to so we have this high and then we have this range low and this range low gave us an area of um what is it called support level which is an identified has a says that liquidity pool we tap this order block right here this sell candle right here we tapped it right we trade higher and as we trade higher we did not break this structure so it has not yet confirmed that uh 751s has shifted bullish then it starts to consolidate we trade lower we found liquidity we tried to push higher but then it failed now um that is we we're going to, we are going to see things clearly when we go down to the lower time frame so we had this liquidity sweep so that's by the way now if we go to the weekly time frame now what we're trying to do is we are looking for an area of supply or a structure kind of stuff now if you guys could remember if you go to my facebook page i shared when we had an entry right here that was on um joy february march april may june that was around june we traded the stuff right we traded it downwards the expectation was to see it go here but it put backwards now since it tapped this supply zone then we say all right we are selling from a supply zone that i shared a uh, long time ago so it tapped we sold 
and it came back up now when it came back up what we are trying to look for is a confirmation entry right a confirmation entry and this here is a supply zone right but one beautiful thing is that when i run down to daily time frame to find a perfect setup what did i find this is what i find now when you look at uh vic 751s when it started putting backwards right you can actually see that we start printing a structure we have this high we have this low we have this high we have this low we have this high we have this low that swept this low all right it gave us a support right then that is identified as an area that gave us a liquidity pool all right then we now trade high we trade lower we trade high we trade low now this is where it starts to print the structure right we have this high we have this low it trade back to this area of demand then it bought it broke structure right giving us this swing high it read lower trade into this odd block or an area of demand then it tried to go higher but what did it do it gave us a felt high and that felt high was formed when we tapped that weekly um supply zone so this right here is my felt high and that was where when the supply zone was formed right so when the supply zone was formed the first thing that we had is what what we're trying to confirm right here we're trying to see that this has shifted from a bullish trend to a bearish trend so this is where it started to shift by giving us a failed high right here right so that is why i always say it is very 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 important that whenever you're doing analysis please do them on your higher time frame it becomes more clearer than you trying to be focused on the one minute time frame the five minutes time frame you actually get confused and you would know your directional bias just like you might be seeing this and you're saying this is bullish right your bias is telling you that the overall market it has shifted from bearish to bullish right without actually knowing that the market from the higher time frame is showing you that it's been bearish and then it entered the consolidation phase right and using the daily range that i just showed you from the monthly time frame where i marked out the high and the low you understand you can actually still tell that the market has not yet given you a confirmation that it wants to go bullish but what it actually did was a reversal like a little bit of retracement right so this now confirmed a continuation of the bearish trend right so we already swept this high that is not my business we are more focused on this structure that was formed and we tap the weekly time frame supply zone and it now gave us a confirmation entry right there so the first thing first failed high we have an internal change of character we have a major change of character then we finally have this structural break right so this is going to structural break because we still traded lower and we stopped right here right sweeping this liquidity now the next question is where is the origin of your structural shift the origin of your structural shift is from this high right so the first thing was that it tapped this demand zone right so now that is what we are doing now that is uh an order block violating an opposing order block is a valid area of entry if you watch one of my video based on this money uh setup you should know you should uh, you actually see me explain this step so we're having a failed high and a demand can be violated and we also trade when we have a stop hunt plus a violation like a structural break right so we violated the demand because this demand was supposed to buy this price this market to break the structure but it failed to break that structure which is not yet confirmed for us to go bearish right we only confirm that we're getting bearish when that demand gets violated and we're having a change of character right so we have the change of character and we also break another demand we keep on breaking an area of demand which is showing us that it has shifted from a bullish market to what a bearish market violating a bullish trend so the origin is actually here i like preferring to choose this candle so um, we prefer to choose this one but i like making this up to that to this high right so you can actually find if you want to this point right so um that is the first thing first now we are going to have a confluence and the confluence was seen how the price traded into this uh key area of um, resistance so we are now having a significant support and resistance and this is now has the mass amount pain level uh now if you know masasori or awm fx they are the ones that go watch awm fx masasori doesn't speak english so you will not understand but even you watch awm fx 
uh, he's the one that can explain to you what maximum pain level is so the maximum pain level is like this um, like you have this high you have this low you have this high and you have this low and price starts to create an area of support and resistance right so it's like uh it's called the maximum pain level because it is destroying retail traders who are buying and selling a breakout traders you understand so traders will be like this is an area of uh, resistance that got broken they want to buy from that area of resistance now if you try to buy why trying to buy it destroys them right so when it destroys them it's um change a structure so we are now having a change of character and the break on market structure which is the major swing low when you don't have this major swing low being broken then you're not confirming a structural break all right sometimes you see it give you a stop hunt all right if it did not give you a fail high you it might give you a stop hunt and then the maximum pain level sits right here uh, the area when we have in that support resistance you know formed and we have the violation so there will always be an order block that will be formed right here together with a favorly gap or an imbalance all right you see that right there so the significant point uh maximum pain level and um when this is called a maximum pain level is when there's a kml inside so our kml is right here because we have this high we have this low we have this high we tapped and we break so that is a kml but when we now have it creating significant support resistance then that is what we call it the maximum pain level one two three two uh resistance one support violation and this is like the buy to sell buying from area of support and then it's sold so the buy to sell candle is that area of all the block or supply zone which also gave you an engulfed candle and your inefficiency and the um, breaker structure giving you also uh, like an end of inducement that price will come back formed like a liquidity sweep that liquidity tap the maximum pain level and it starts to sell so that's what happened right here all right so um now we have this right here you can actually see what i said we explain right here we actually have that uh significant support of liquidity pool from right here we have this point this point so this is s1 uh arrow one arrow two so that is an area of inducement liquidity given to us and we have an extra liquidity given to us right there so price started buying and when price started buying it was buying in a trade line right so i don't know how you guys draw your trade line it depends so it, started, it was buying a trade line tap two three then it went to our supply zone we tapped and then we sold off so the next thing that we can possibly do is to look for like you know confirmation entries and that was what we've been seeing right here we have this other block they will now have this other block so um i hope this makes sense and i hope you understand mm, this lecture this spread analysis so tech profit could be this low or this uh, area of social liquidity because that will be our target so targeting one two three four down to this major low where i love it has the range low right so i don't know if it's probably gonna get to this point but i don't care just taking pressures from all of this area of set stop so uh see you guys next time take care and be safe uh, I will still drop that on VIX25 and also VIX50 for you guys. Okay, so take care and be safe. Go get the cross on Udemy to be pasted on the description link. And don't forget to drop your reviews. Bye.